now we are going to start our first specific gravity which i had uh, told you about the introduction okay, that the bulk specific gravity so so keep this in mind we have the aggregate whatsoever amount of aggregate come in unit volume try to understand for example for your introduction i have this unit volume how many aggregates are over here these are the dry aggregates and its mass is determined one set so so this is the mass of the unit volume of the aggregate unit volume you know keep this in mind density is equal to mass per unit volume unit volume in one whatsoever the value come it would be density of the aggregate when same is filled with water same volume same unit volume is filled with water its mass is again measured this is known as the mass of the water and here we are going to determine mass of the water divided by the unit volume because here v is equal to 1 so then the ratio of these two density is given the name gsb so let me give you the definition after telling all this calculation to you the ratio between oven dry weight of unit volume of aggregate to the weight of same volume of water mean unit volume of water is known as the bulk specific gravity or the specific gravity here keep one thing in mind that as for the aggregates are concerned it has impervious and pervious voids voids filled with water now keep this and because we are dealing with the aggregate aggregates are divided into two types and i will show you the meaning of the impervious and pervious but let me first of all tell you one thing your aggregates are either coarse aggregate and your aggregates are either fine aggregate whenever any quantity in engineering or science it is considered this is measurable so this bulk specific gravity whatever we have discussed over here there is some procedure to find out this one and then procedure for the crush aggregate sorry coarse aggregate standard is c127 and for the fine aggregate standard is c128 these are ascm standard okay now let me tell you what is the impervious and pervious because now my concern is with this one let us suppose
Here I have drawn some type of uh, this uh, stone. This is filled with water. This. When this filling or absorption of this water is taken into consideration, stone or aggregate. You know, its surface is rough, having some cavities, small cavities. When those are filled with water, this is shown by this one, filled volume. And the outer surface is the impervious. Outer surface is impervious, some cavities inside, these are filled with water. So, if you will understand this figure, that these pores are being filled with the water and exterior some surface very absolutely smooth, absolutely smooth is related to the impervious and where some cavity, some field are over there that is filled with water that is related to this one. So this figure shown over here. Now, let me tell you, what will be the mathematical equation for its determination? For course aggregate, course aggregate as per ASTM C127, the equation is, is equal to A over B minus C. A is open drive. weight of aggregate B is SSD weight of aggregate C is weight of aggregate immersed in water when immersed in water. So this is very fundamental equation. This I will use for the determination of specific gravity in my coming video. Similarly, when we have the fine aggregate, what will we do? Its equation is For fine aggregate, by ASTM C128, the equation is GSB is equal to A over B plus S minus C. Here A as usual open drive weight of aggregate. Because these are fine material. Fine material is taken in particular container like this one. This is known as a picnometer. This is its mark, up to this mark we are going to do. This is known as a picometer. So that is why B is weight of picometer filled with water. And C weight of picrometer plus water plus sample. Let me tell you. Suppose I have inserted 
the measured amount of sample this i have shown over here then i have calculated its weight that would be represented by s c now in the last s s s v weight of sample and other thing i would like to tell you because this is the equation which we will use when we will be considering the fine aggregate here i would like to tell you water absorption very important topic water absorption is equal to s minus a means surface saturated minus absolute dry over dry into 100 this would be the equation use for fine aggregate for coarse aggregate it would be equal to b minus a over a into 100 this is the water absorption for coarse aggregate so these are the and other two equations which all of you should keep in mind so so this fundamental definition and the equation which we are going to use to over here i have told you but keep one thing in mind as i have already told you since the start of my series of lecture i will just go on giving you the name of the standard and provide you the results which i have taken because if i will go on performing each and everything i cannot finish my series of lectures for your understanding of super pave mixing thank you very much for seeing this